Good morning, Illini. I'm Andrea Flores, your UI7 News correspondent. I am here in Taylorville, Illinois, where just this past weekend, an EF3 tornado passed through here. And as you can see behind me, the damage speaks for itself. Much in the tornado's path was destroyed. Downed trees, shredded insulation, and lost toys are some of the remnants that litter Taylorville roads after Saturday's storm. Home of the tornadoes, this small city isn't a stranger to the occasional twister. But Fire Captain Ron Smith says something about this storm felt different. We always seem to dodge a bullet, but for some reason everybody had the feeling something was going to happen that night, and we were all prepared. And like I said, everybody thought that for once and nobody's ever thought of it that way before. The fire department blew their alarms twice that evening, which they don't normally do. They believe it's made all the difference, as thankfully, no one died that night. The second alarm may have saved one woman and her daughter. Resident Margaret Chester is deaf, and her sister Sue Hogue describes that her family was very fortunate during that storm. The first alarm went off and then it went, then it stopped. And then so they thought oh, it's just another false alarm. So. My sister is, was downstairs, my niece was upstairs, and she heard it come and she heard the roar. So she was able to go downstairs and get my sister and their pets and get them to the basement just in time. One downside for the family, they just moved to Taylorville last year. They really just got settled in here, so now we've gotta, they've got to start all over with that. But despite this, Sue remains positive. Even though her sister's home has some damage, it's still structurally sound, which unfortunately, some of her neighbors weren't as lucky. City officials say that reconstruction and cleanup can take weeks, if not months. In Taylorville, for Good Morning Illini, I'm Andrea Flores.